Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I bring you 5 Animal Crossing facts that you may or may not have known um, hopefully you don't so that you learn something new in this video um, but yeah, I didn't find these out so quite a low stage in the game so yeah, let's get started In at number 1, we've got the waterfall trick I haven't seen anyone talk about this so I'm going to demonstrate it to you guys here I have a random waterfall cliff thing that I built, nothing special about it. So when you're decorating your island or like flattening whatever, you might think this is disgusting so you want to get rid of it. So like a normal person, you get your ladder out, you climb on top, you get your waterscaping shovel thingy and you cover up the waterfall. Right? Seems like the right thing to do, but no. There's actually an easier way to do it and you basically stand in front of the waterfall and you dig it up. I did not know about this, I discovered this on accident when I was like flattening an area with a pond on the bottom and then like a waterfall next to it, I just accidentally happened to do this. You sadly cannot make a waterfall while standing at the bottom, you can only cover one up. Um, bit unfortunate but I mean it's still like a life hack I guess you could call it. Um, and yeah you can just get rid of waterfalls much easier if you've already cleared out like the top of things and you're not bothered to climb back up. It's a useful hack. So for number two we have a fact about Celeste. She comes to your island every few days, it can be weeks, and she gives you a DIY recipe, something to do with like um, the stars and all that, you know the moon, all that. She is the sister of Blavis and most people know that he can assess fossils and like talk about fish, give you some like information about bugs, whatever, because he works at a museum, obviously. But Celeste can do the same with star fragments. So when you have a star fragment in your pocket, you can ask her to take a look at this. Here I've got the Taurus star fragment, and she'll tell you her favorite story about each zodiac. So here's the Taurus one. Going on far away, an extraordinarily beautiful princess called Europa was picking flowers with her servants by the sea and she was approached by a lovely white bull that seemed very friendly so Europa hopped on its back and as she did, however, the bull suddenly took off dashing across the ocean in a most un like way. The bull, it turned out, was a god Zeus had fallen for Europa but had trouble with boundaries. The constellation Taurus honours the great bull and Europa herself has a whole continent named after her, but continent names aside, I imagine Europa would have preferred if Zeus simply asked her to tea. So there we got, we got that story. And I'm not sure about the other zodiac star fragment things and the DIYs, but this Taurus one matches the DIY. So here we were talking about like the ball and the like ocean so then there's like a little bathtub and i really love that and remember to not drop your star fragments otherwise celeste won't talk to you about them and she'll also only talk to you about the zodiac ones not the large star fragments and the normal star fragments so now for number three we all know there's like a bunch of interactable items in the game not as much as I would have liked personally but you know we've got the Mario items including the coins, some other stuff is the pipe and like the mushrooms and stuff and also this item is interactable but one that I didn't know and I feel like I just had to put on the list was the cherry blossom branch thingy as you can see here I have it by my entrance I've had it for a while now and it's interactable how did I not know this I have no idea guys Anyways, for number four, we've got a fact about gold roses. They're pretty rare flowers, I would consider. Not as rare as blue roses, but they're hard to get and they look pretty cool. So with normal flowers, you can like water them and clone them. Um, so like the cosmos and stuff. But with the gold roses, it's just not the case. No matter how many times you water them, you cannot clone them. You have to breed them from like scratch. Um, you breed them by getting like two black roses but I'm not going to get into too much detail about that. And it doesn't matter whether you use the gold watering can or the flimsy one or the normal one, you cannot clone gold roses. That is it, you can't clone them, you have to get them again and it's quite difficult to do so. But for number five, our last fact is 
about Nook's Cranny. So hopefully we're all familiar with like how the whole turnip thing works in New Horizons. Uh, but basically you buy turnips and you can sell them for a greater price and get some profits. So here is 9.20am, 7th of August. Uh, when you go to Timmy and Tommy, you ask them how much are the turnips and they tell you, you know a random price so here we've got 61 bells and i didn't know this but it changes twice a day so if you come in again in the pm so obviously right now it's the am i come back here later during the day here you can see my time in the bottom of the screen right now um it's 9 25 pm 7th of august again and when i talk to timmy and tommy they will say that the turnip price is 57 bells per turnip so obviously it's gone down not what we like i don't know about you guys but i sleep quite late so i usually never play in the morning so i just never realized this i knew the turnip prices changed each day but I didn't know they changed twice a day you know me in the past if I would have known this it would have helped me so much but anyway that is it for the video so I hope you guys learned something new and that you enjoyed and uh, subscribe for more Animal Crossing New Horizons content and don't forget to leave a like and a comment so bye